Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're here with another set and tonight I'm excited y'all because I get to use Rosewood. I've been waiting to use this nude from Bomb Nail since I got it. It is a beautiful nude. I'm also using my size 14 Bomb Nails Kalinske brush along with my 3XL coffin no c curve tips from bomb nails and also my bomb nails diamond top coat y'all i have been waiting to use this nude from bomb nails since i swatched it this is a beautiful nude however this is not a nude that you can use with just any set it's a mauvey nude it's a beautiful nude it's more of like a folly nude but nonetheless, it's a beautiful nude. It's kind of like, like I said, it's a mauve. Y'all are going to see it. I think it shows up a little darker on camera than it does. As I told y'all, um, I've been having issues with my nudes showing up a little bit darker than they usually, than they are in real life. But um, I'm trying to remedy that with, with new lighting. I'm still waiting for my light, y'all. I don't know what the hell is taking this freaking big ass, um what are they called ring light to come but yeah so we're waiting on that once that comes we should be we should be shining like the freaking aurora lights all right anyway y'all we gotta get into a lot in this video so right now i'm just using um my dynamic nails transfer foil and y'all look at these little ass look at them so this is crystals live we were watching sugared nail eclipse live um Sunday. She has Sunday fun day. Go check her out, y'all. There was 30 people up in there. Um, it was just a great time, y'all. The freaking com yo, the commentary in the live is always the funniest because y'all we have our own conversations, and then um they were <laughs> yo, I was in there under my other YouTube because I you have another YouTube, so when I go live. I can read comments or whatever. So I'm in there and they're all, they were bullying me, y'all. Marcy, Robin, Jonah, y'all know who you are, okay? And then Toy comes in sticking up for me. Thank you, Toy. Thank you. Because Martialations Latina Nail Design, aka Marcy, aka Marco, aka Darcy, was bullying me. What was she saying to me? She was like, here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Yo, this ish was hilarious, y'all. So anyway, I just had to show y'all that they were bullying me. So we're getting into this. this I was using my dynamic transfer foil uh, glue, gel, whatever it is, y'all. It is the best transfer foil. I've never actually used another transfer foil, but I've seen other people use other transfer foils and they never get the transfer uh, foil to trans or gels. I always call my gel foil. I don't know why, but I've never seen them get a full, like, I don't know. This stuff is just bomb y'all. So if y'all don't have this transfer, uh, foil gel, go get you some from dynamic. It's not even expensive. I had this for like a year. I also have their blooming gel and stuff. They have some bomb products over there. Um, as far as like gels and stuff, I wouldn't recommend if you are advanced getting their acrylics or acrylics aren't for, people who are advanced but yeah so <clears throat> i put together this set i've had these uh foils here that kind of look like my desk if y'all know i have like this pink um kind of geode mat that i have down on my desk and it kind of looks like these foils but i've had these for a while and i wanted to use them and then when i got rosewood um i got it in my pr package from gabby Thank you, Gabby. You are amazing. I love you, girl. If y'all don't follow Gabby, go follow Gabby. Bomb Nails Gabby. She is amazing. Um, y'all, Bomb Nails will always be linked down in my description for any of these products. Also, my code. These products are bomb. The girls love Bomb Nails over here. Her products are bomb. And I wanted to get into that a little bit, y'all, because i have decided um <clears throat> when you first start on youtube and you start like getting a little bit of um you know followers and things like that you will have companies reach out to you um i've never had an acrylic company reach out to me at all to review acrylics the only person that i've ever asked have me to ask me to be a brand ambassador for them is Gabby from Bomb Nails. Nobody has ever, it's usually like gel polishes and stuff like that. Maybe like a Kalinsky brush here or there. But Gabby was the first person um, 
for like acrylic and really good product to say, hey, I'd love you to come be a brand ambassador for me and give me a 15% code. Um, and I want to say that to say this. I also am a brand ambassador for somebody else. Um, you all know I'm a, only for acrylics uh, or whatever for 876 nails, y'all. I'm done with that. <laughs> That is finito. I'm actually going to hit Chelsea up and let her know. I haven't let her know yet, but I don't think it matters, honestly. Um, it's not like a real ambassadorship. Uh, you get a beginner kit in the beginning, and then she never sends you another product ever again. So I just want to talk about brand ambassadorships um, with y'all today in case y'all ever come across them. When you... Um, see a company that you want a brand ambassador for or whatever. I don't know how some companies do applications. Some companies will reach out to you and then some people will do like applications or you can ask them, hey, I'd love to review your product, yada, yada. I find that when people reach out to you and um, come to you, the brand ambassadorship is more... It's more fulfilling, it's more professional, it's more, it's more of a lot of everything. Um, my brand ambassadorship with Gabby with Bomb Nails has been one of the greatest experiences I have had in the nail, being in this little YouTube, social media, doing nails, you know, cheese man with the girls has been the best experience. Gabby is such a humble beautiful woman, creator, nail enthusiast. Um, she sells amazing product. When I tell y'all like bomb nails, the product has changed the way I do nails. And I'm not even joking. It's see, you can see it right here on live. I, oh, I'm always using bomb nails. I genuinely love bomb nails. Okay. Um, and I'm happy with bomb nails and I'm happy to use bomb nails every single time I do a set. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as the other company, it's like, a, um, it's one of those companies that, so, so with Gabby, she cares about who's her brand ambassador. It's like a privilege to be a brand ambassador for her. Um, whereas 876 Nails, they just pick anybody to be a brand ambassador. They send you that beginner kit. You review it and that's all you'll ever see. You may make a little bit of commission off of them or whatever, but you, 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 there's no real communication. There's no, um, you're not getting collections before they launch. Like when you're in an ambassadorship, that's the point of an ambassadorship to, um, especially if you're making money with a, with an ambassadorship. Um, the point is to send products so that they can review it. Now, I'm going to be real and I'm going to be honest. I never went into 876 Nails Ambassadorship ever knowing or thinking about promoting that product. <laughs> and I'm just going to be honest. I went into it because somebody was shading a brand that I love and care about and said that they would never support this brand because I'm a brand ambassador. So, um, and as they were putting this person down, they were hyping up this brand. So I said, okay, um, well, I'm gonna let you, I'm a, cause, cause let me tell you something. Being a brand ambassador for somebody like Gabby is very, very special. And I say that because she's not like, and oh, and that's another thing. So <clears throat> when I talk about creators on here, I, I should sum this up, right? Um, I'm not talking about all big creators, right? I'm talking about big creators who are in the mix, who are on lives every week, text messaging certain girls that are in their uh, things, being personable with people. You have those type of creators like me. I go live. I talk to y'all. I talk to y'all in private message. You have those type of creators. And then you have business women like Gabby who comes on does her educational videos, tries to answer everybody back in her comments, and then she's a businesswoman. She doesn't interact on a personal level. She keeps it very business. The only thing me and Gabby talk about is business. You know what I'm saying? Or she'll hit me up and say, oh my God, those nails were beautiful. Or I'll hit her up and say, her nails are beautiful. It's not like a kiki, ha ha, 
ordeal. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're best of friends. You know, no, it's very professional. And I love that. I love that because it, it, it mitigates any risk of somebody being weak. You know what I'm saying? It, it does. It mitigates that. But I'm talking about more so the creators who are in the mix with people, messaging people, you know, um, playing favoritism, not, that's the creators I'm talking about. So I just wanted to, cause I don't want to make anybody feel like I'm talking about them because there are creators who really just come on, do their thing, promote their product, have their following, but they're not really into the shout, you know, I'm a shout everybody out. They're not into that, you know, and that's, and that's, and that's okay because they conduct themselves in a manner where they're not in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll never see Gabby and Alive in the mix talking to 20, you know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of people, she, you know what I'm saying? She talks in her videos and she does her thing and that's it. That's, uh, that, those type of creators are not the creators I'm talking about. I'm talking about other creators who are always in the mix. They talk to everybody in their inbox. You know what I'm saying? Like those type of creators. So I wanted to sum that up. But anyway, back to the brand ambassadorship. There is a huge difference when, like, even, like, not polished reach out, reaches out to you. Two guys reaches out to you. When somebody reaches out to you, that means they genuinely like what they see. They like their your work. When you have to go and fill out an application and then they send you, like, one of those beginner packages. Like, I think Two Cute Nails does it. I know 876 does. They're ready to make anybody a brand ambassador. Those have people... Those will cause issues because they have so many brand ambassadors that one, it's not special anymore. And two, you're, you're only picking and choosing who you want to send certain products to. Like I know 876 just came out with a whole island collection. Um, one of the brand ambassadors at brand ambassadors is, uh, <laughs> it re represents her company. Um, only got like four acrylics out of the whole collection. Um, and then I never, I don't think I even seen any other ambassadors even get that collection, which doesn't make sense. Why make somebody people brand ambassadors and that many people, like I said, it's supposed to be special. You're supposed to pick somebody who, you know, is going to represent your product Oh, use your product. Cause that's the point of an ambassadorship. It's not just to do a review on it. It's to really use the product show the people the product. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a lot of girls who fell in love with bomb nails on my channel. Who's like, yo, this product is dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm out here and I'm doing my job as a brand ambassador for this beautiful company. And it's so amazing. And it's special. Gabby only has, I think three whole brand ambassadors and I got to be one of them. That's a, that's special. You know what I'm saying? And before that she had two, and never really even talked about, be, you know what I'm saying? It was a complete surprise for me, but it was such a, it was like an honor. It was an honor um, to become a brand ambassador for her. And she makes it very special. Like her brand ambassador packages are amazing. They're well thought out together. You're getting all the new product. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's so amazing. Now there's a, you don't, now if you're coming out with stuff, obviously who, who's going to give all of that product to 30, 40, how many, I don't even know how many ambassadors, 40 ambassadors, nobody. It's, it's like a, it's almost like, uh, I don't know what it is, but I know a lot of girls who were excited and happy to be a part of that brand were really hurt when they seen this collection come out and only some creators get it and then nobody else got it. And that's not, that's not cool because Yes, 876 Nails, they do have really good acrylic, right? They're, they do. I'm, their cover colors are amazing. I, I haven't tried their colors. I won't speak on that. They do have nice cover colors. Um, and like I said, a lot of girls I know became a brand ambassador, just like me, just like a bunch of other girls, and never seen anything other than the first package. And I don't think that's cool because now you got your own brand ambassadors looking at other people's packages going, well... You know, what about me? Am I am I not part of the cool girl club? You know, that's not cool. That's why I am done. I have a brand ambassadorship. I love the product. I, I stand by this product. I invest my money into this product. 
And that's what I'm going to use on my page. And that's what I'm going to represent on my page. A beautiful brand that's um, created by a beautiful, humble woman who not only gives us amazing prices on really great acrylics, guys, but also gives us a 15% discount to where when you go on, I've bought a lot of product off of Gabby's site for giveaways for myself, mostly for myself, but for giveaways. Um, and when I use that fit, that takes a, you're getting a good product for, she's just humble and I freaking love her whole face. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be promoting anybody else's product in my videos. I only got one more person that I would even consider promoting. And that's my girl Drea when her stuff drops. But as far as that, bomb nails on my site, BB. Every day, all day. Obviously, I will use the other brands that um, that I've bought in over the freaking time I've been doing nails. and I Because I want to also get rid of a lot of stuff. But bomb nails, baby, all day here. Okay? Um, I'm not promoting any more small businesses um, as far as uh, acrylics and things like that. Um, I'm going to take my thing out of my <laughs> drop down. Do not hit me up. Like, I'm done with it. I have a good thing going here. Um, like I said, I love the product. I love to support Gabby. And I love how this community supports her too. Because she really is a very humble, nice person. And very generous, y'all. Very generous. And, and I love her for that. And that's why I support. And real recognizes real. I love the fact that Gabby is not in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I love a professional ass bitch, okay? Who handles her business and keeps it pushing. I love that. I when when people are in the mix, especially when you're a bigger creator like Abby, it's hard to be in the mix like that because you it, like being in the mix gets you jumbled in a lot of a lot of stuff. See, I I don't own a business. I'm just me and I love to come hang out with y'all. That's why I mingle. But if I owned a business, I probably wouldn't mingle as much. You know what I'm saying? Because, because it just, that, that brings you, uh, it brings drama. It just brings drama because people naturally bring drama. So I admire that about her. And that's why I wanted to clarify like what type of creators, bigger creators I was talking about. Because I don't want ever want anybody to get offended like, damn. Or sit there and think like, damn, I don't shout nobody out. Know? Like, what the hell? You know, no. There's two different types. And the types I'm talking about are the ones who are in the mix. They're making these girls feel so special. And, oh, you're my girls. Here, promote, buy my product and promote it. And not even give them a, de like a discount. So that's what I was talking about. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, damn. That whole video was negative. Like, you're over here trying to promote positivity, and here you are being negative. You should be happy that this big creator finally shouted somebody out. I'm happy about it. Like, thank God, finally. But I'm also like, come on, like, you're Jack. You know what I'm saying? Be original. Jack, somebody else's, you know, steez. Like, it, it just looks weird. Um, but yeah, but this is um, bomb, y'all. Look at this rosewood. It went perfect with these um, foils that I bought. And I had, and I put some a little bit of gold in there. I freaking love, this is going to be my go-to nude when fall comes. And y'all, Gabby's coming out with that summer collection that's about to come out. I was actually mad, y'all. When I had to use my Valentino colors for my last set, I'm like, damn, like, because I know she's coming out with summer colors, but she's also coming out with a glitter collection. So I'm sitting there doing these summer glitter nails and I'm just thinking about baby, where's my, where's the summer stuff? Cause I, you know, I'm ready, Gabby, we're ready, baby. We're ready for the drop. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so excited cause she's also getting four ounces y'all. And that's why I've been trying to lay off my birthday suit, which is one of my favorite nudes from her. Um, I love Pink Me Nude too. The only thing about Pink Me Nude is it shows up very dark on my camera. So until I can remedy my, my lighting, I don't like to use that because people don't really like to go for darker nudes like this for some reason. They are beautiful, um, but they, I don't know, they have to be used with like, like you see how I was using this pinky, you have to use this with colors like that, or maybe you could use this with I don't know, maybe you could use this with like, a, um, no, this has to be used with certain colors, y'all, for real. It does, like a white, but these were just so pretty, I thought, and I was so happy. I'm like, yes, because let me tell y'all, when I swatched this rosewood, 
I was blown away. I was breathtaking. I, you'll never find a nude like this. And for all y'all who bought my Insatiable off that website, y'all, I knew it. I said, yo, I'm, tell I'm talking too much about Insatiable. I'm talking too much about it because I bought extras for myself, right? So then I gave those away in giveaways. So I'm like, oh, I got to get on there because I need uh, to re-up on Mint to Be. I need, I need my Pinky Promise too because I gave a couple of those away. And because uh, I got backup here, y'all, for real. I got backup, y'all. That Valentine's Day collection and that spring collection was dope. So I had to have backups of, like, my favorites. And, y'all, tell me why it backfired on me because I'm using my favorites. Talking about, y'all, look at this beautiful. Like, there's no other color in this world like Insatiable. That is the most beautiful freaking acrylic that is so buttery and so... Listen... Listen, I promoted that shit too much because it's gone, bro. And it better come back. It better come back. Because if it doesn't come back, everybody I sent an insatiable to better send it back <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, but I think she said she was coming back out. But I'm excited. I'm excited for the, the summer collection, y'all, we got coming. So y'all know we got to freaking go hard for that. And then she's also coming out with four ounces. And I can't wait for those because y'all... If I have to buy another two ounce birthday soup before these four ounces come out, I will. I will. <laughs> but I just want the four ounces. Get me the four ounces in the new jars. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyway, y'all, I think we're, no, we're still ombre but yes, bomb nails till the death of us, baby. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to be, um,. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ask for all that to be gone. I don't want my code no more. Like, yeah, just get that, you know, keep that shit moving. Because, like I said, I, I had no intention. When I started with Gabby, I said, like, because when I do something, y'all, I don't like to half-ass it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person, like, if you're willing to come out of, I don't even know where, I don't even know how it happened. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of, like, fell in my lap, um... Gabby, I've always watched Gabby, like I told y'all, um, but I never knew she sold her own product, and then I seen her come up on my page, because I've always followed her, and she was swatching stuff, so I'm like, oh, I wonder what, you know, what these are, and it said bomb nails, and I'm like, oh, let me find out, and um, yeah, it was her, and she was like, what the fuck, you sell your own acrylic, and then I remember it's selling out overnight, and I was pissed, because I'm like, are you kidding me, I didn't even get to go get the collection, and then she said, hey, love, did you, were you able to get the collection? And I was like, no, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase them individually because the, the collection, when you, if once the collections are gone, it's only like 10 to $15 more to buy them individually. So it's no big deal at all. Like that's not, that's like a tip, you know, like, thank you for being such a great person. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I didn't mind supporting like that at all. And, uh. So I went and I got everyone that I could except a couple. And when I got it, I got like six more acrylic separate. I got, um, you know, a bunch of beautiful stuff from her. And I'm just like, wow. And when I do something or, or say I'm going to do something, I'm like, yeah, I'll be your brand ambassador, you know. And she sends me these beautiful PR packages. I have to put my all into that. You know what I'm saying? Plus the products bomb. And like I said, it changed my whole application game the way I even can lay acrylic so I want to be true to that you know what I'm saying and again it's special to me like being a brand ambassador for somebody like Abby is very special to me I feel very special there's only a couple of us who do BA for her it's not something that every single buddy on YouTube has a oh I'm BA no it's a special it's a very special intimate kind of thing I hope it stays that way but, um, or, you know, maybe a couple more brand ambassadors, just like a couple more, but you don't need 40 brand ambassadors to the point where you can't even send people nothing like that is crazy to me. And I don't care what nobody says. Okay. But like I said, from the beginning, it was just to be like, Oh, okay. You want to, you want to, because one thing I don't like about people is if they don't like you, they're going to bash a product that you represent. And that's not fair. And I don't like that. So when it happened, I said, oh, yeah, because I got to show you what type of ish I am. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hey, now I'm going to be a for 876. You're going to stop buying that, too? No. Mm -mm. Yeah. But so that kind of 
piss me off, so I had to make a point. <laughs> and I made my point, and now I'm done making it, and I don't care about... Yeah, I never was really going to rep it. You know, I got I got what I... I got... This, this is all I need, y'all. That's all I'm saying. This is all I need. I'm happy where I'm at. Um... I, I don't even have my products, like, all the products on my desk to use is all bomb nails. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to what I love. Um, and this is, this is it. Like, I found my product. I found um, my forever, like, acrylic. Like, this is what it's going to be. Okay? Okay? This is the... <laughs> we're, we're like gang gang over here. Gang gang! <laughs> no, but... um. I love y'all. We're going to cap these nails. We're going to get to some little furling. Furling. We're going to furling. Um, and y'all, it's almost Freestyle Friday again. Like, tomorrow's Wednesday. Work is going by so quick every day. And it's because I'm so busy now. Like, this new position, you know, I'm a little bit higher up. So, I have a lot going on. I'm always busy. And by the time, by the time I get in in the morning and wake up, and realize like what's going on and all the all the work I have to do it's already lunch and then by the time I get back from lunch it's already four so I'm like leaving like I just got so much work and paperwork and stuff to do and I'm just busy so it's like a breath of fresh air because my last position I wasn't busy like that like literally well I'm not gonna say it on here in case anybody watches me but um anyway <laughs> I can't wait till freestyle Friday I love y'all Sorry my last video was negative. I don't mean to make videos negative because I'm really not a negative person. I love y'all. Um, I love everybody who comes to my channel and supports. But sometimes, y'all, like, you just get so sick of seeing shit um, on here and the fake stuff and people, like, swagger jack. What is it called? Swagger jacking. You know what I'm saying? They just, like, want to, oh, that, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just get amped up by... The, the money and the views and then they try to come take what is what is special to your little community like y'all can't give us that you can't give us that you got to come try to take that too like what no because it's real love and support over here and y'all when i tell y'all y'all support crazy i'm telling y'all y'all support freaking crazy y'all supported me with bomb nails the product all my girls went and bought them some bond. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are cra go crazy. And people would kill to have supporters that go crazy like that. And they don't because people see through that shit. And um, so I just want to let y'all know. I'm going to try to be more positive. I've always been the type of person. I can't shut my mouth, y'all. Like if I see injustice happening or something going on, I'm, I've always been the type of person to, like, speak up, and I just can't just shut my trap, like, there's some people in this world who don't ever address anything, they're just so unbothered, <laughs> like, I, I strive to be that unbothered, because I can never shut my mouth, I, y'all know, I have to say something, I just can't not say something, and the best thing you could do to people like this is never give them the time of day or say anything. But I have not, and I'm not, I'm going to be honest because that's all I can be. I have not made it to that level of peace in my life. <laughs> I have not made it to that level of maturity and peace in my life where I could just shut my goddamn mouth. I have not. And I'm not as scared to say it. I have not people, but one day I'll be there. Hopefully I'm still young. I'm still 33. So like, hopefully one day I'll be at that type of place in my life where, um, I, I'm that mature. Oh, and I've been trying to use up all my crappy clear, but with this set, I couldn't do it anymore. Like, let me tell y'all, like, I just couldn't do it anymore with, with the crappy, uh, clear that I had. So I had to pop out my bomb nails which I've been trying to see because, like I said, I had other clears open. And I want to try to use those so I can just, you know, use my bomb nails eventually. And then just keep using my bomb nails, you know, like, because I have, like, a Mia Secret. I, I have a full Mia Secret and a half a Dynamic. So I just wanted to get those out of the way and then dip into my good stuff from bomb nails. So, but with this set i just couldn't do it y'all and then um if y'all see this monomer looks very dirty right now i just want to explain that i use that for this whole set um i never cleaned it out i don't care what 
clear acrylic in this world you buy clear acrylic is the is the purest form of acrylic so it's going to stick in your brush after a while if you keep if you don't wipe your brush good and i don't trust me y'all see me go over there on nail a hundred times and not even wipe it on the towel if y'all go over that nail and don't wipe that brush good and keep dipping it in that monomer you're just gonna have clear acrylic in your brush your freaking brush is going to be crying. By the end of this set, my brush was like, please help me. Because it's just with any clear. It's just how clear works. I've never used a clear that where I didn't get to the end of a set and have to change my monomer out. It's just what it does, y'all. I don't know why. I, I've heard from nail professionals that it's because clear acrylic will always stick to your brush because it's like the like I said the purest form of acrylic so there's no way to stop that the only thing you can do is wipe your brush good enough make sure you're changing out your monomer see if I would have capped not capped ombre my nails then changed out my monomer with with good monomer then um it wouldn't be it wouldn't have been as crazy but because I wasn't and I was trying to like kind of because this was my third set of the weekend, y'all. Like, I did Freestyle Friday, Saturday, and then this was the Sunday one for Wednesday. So, I was just trying to go to bed. I had work Monday morning. I was watching Crystals Live, you know, trying to uh, chat it up in there with them while I was doing this. So, um, yeah, I was just trying to get through this. And while I was trying to get through this, you know, I wasn't wiping my brush good enough. And my dampened dish looks like it's filled with crap. But it's it's not. And like I said, when it comes to clear acrylic, it's the it's the purest form. So it will stick to your brush. My bad, y'all. My brother just got home from work and he came back to say hi. What was I talking about? Oh, clear acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, make sure when you're using clear acrylic to one, change your uh, monomer out before you start using your clear. Um, because yeah, you know, you're using acrylic, you're using your brush. Um, anytime I do encapsulated nails with any type of clear at the end, my, you know, it's just clear acrylic. It, it, any one of them does this. So, all right, let's get off that. Let's move on. Um, so anyway, how was y'all's day? I was on a roll, y'all, and I got interrupted, and now I'm not on a roll. You know what I'm saying? I'm just stuck in this, what was I talking about, space. But anyway, yeah, so I wanted to say all that to say this. Uh, yeah, so Bomb Nails will be the product I'll be using. Like I said, obviously, I will use um, some of my other products that I bought with my own money uh, from brands that I don't represent at all. I you know, like Valentino, I bought stuff from Elegance Nail Supply, I bought stuff from, but mostly you are going to see Bomb Nails on my channel, <clears throat> unless I don't have something that Bomb Nails has, or I mean, unless I don't have, Bomb Nails doesn't have something and I need to use something else, that's when I'll be using it, but this is, I love this product, y'all, and I cannot say that enough. And if you have used this product, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? It is just an amazing product. It's a beautiful product and you're supporting, not only is it a great product, but you're also supporting somebody that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? So you get like it all in one, very generous, kind woman. Um, so yeah, uh, these nails, I love these freaking nails, y'all. These were so pretty. This rosewood is so freaking pretty, y'all. I have to find something else to use this with, y'all, because this will not be the only set that I do with this rosewood until fall comes, okay? This is just, this color would be beautiful alone with maybe like a glitter or something. Ooh, maybe I'll ombre it over like a nice, pretty glitter, because I have this glitter from Elegance um, from the wedding collection that is so pretty, um yeah so maybe i'll use that but these products y'all are freaking bomb and like i said i'm so excited for this summer collection the glitters um we're gonna be doing giveaways y'all um that's i told y'all and i'm sticking to that um my revenue will be going back into my channel giveaways so once like the week well how youtube works is at a certain time in the month, they like wrap it all up and you get paid the month after for that. So usually when they wrap it all up and I see what I'm actually getting, I'll, I'll buy the product. 
before I even get it. Like this time when I bought product, I seen what it was going to be. And I was like, all right, I got this. I'll spend it on product. And then when I get it, I just get it, you know. And that's exactly what I did. I took all of that money, spent it on products. We had a beautiful two giveaways. It was supposed to be one, but I'm actually glad it was two Fridays and we split it up because it was so fun. I, in like, y'all don't even know, Freestyle Fridays, y'all, is my go- I, th that's going to be forever. Like, I enjoy hanging with y'all and conversing with y'all and joking with y'all and just telling y'all my, my stories, you know, because I'm the type of person, I'm like an open book. I love to, you know, I just don't care what people think. I don't give a shit what people think of me. And my life has been a movie, y'all. So strap on your boots, baby, because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you my stories. And they're freaking hilarious, y'all. I promise, y'all. Um, So here we're filing, y'all. These are the freaking best files. These are also from Dynamic Nails, y'all. Bomb ass files. They just got new files in. They're thick. Bomb Nails is supposed to be coming out with files. Until Bomb Nails comes out with files, I will continue to use Dynamics files. I'm hoping she said, I think she said she was looking into new files and new brushes. Y'all, if you have not gotten Bomb Nails Kalinsky brush, I know a couple of my giveaway winners were blessed with the brush. It is a bomb brush. I have my size 12 and 14. They're my go-to's. Y'all, I love those brushes. So if y'all don't have those brushes, go get you some. And like I said, bomb nails will always be linked in my description below. Gabby gives us a beautiful 15% discount off of all of her products, which is generous and amazing. Okay, Gabby is um, a new, not a new business owner, but she's just been, I think, getting into the business thing. I think I remember a video she did where she said she almost gave up and she was going to pack it up. And I was like, yo, thank God she didn't because <clears throat> Gabby is not only a dope nail artist, but she's also a, a really dope person and she really cares. Like you can tell when she talks about her products in her videos, how much she really cares about her brand and her product and how, you know, she, she goes above and beyond to look for a good product for us and she really does because you can tell like you when you're doing stuff like that I can, I would get so much anxiety like are people gonna like it but you can tell just when she talks about it like before launches you can tell she genuinely loves this she genuinely loves her brand and you know has like worries about her brand like I hope the people like this you know and I and I and I and I'm always like, Gabby, they're going to love it because it's just freaking amazing, y'all. But I could see that because that's how I would be if I owned my own business and I was about to launch something. Like, damn, I hope they, you know, because what I like, y'all might not like. What y'all like, I might not like. I know people who love Dynamic and they're trash. I know people who love uh, Zuleta Acrylic and they're trash. Like, you know what I'm saying? So not everybody likes the same type of acrylics. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, yeah, I totally get that. But everything I've gotten from Bomb Nails has been bomb so far. Her covers, her colors, and y'all, it is hard to get colors. When, like I told y'all, and I was very honest, I was afraid to swatch when I got that Valentine's Day collection because I bought so many pinks from a certain person in every last one of them. Dynamic too, even Dynamic. The pinks, like those type of pinks were so bad so freaking bad I was literally gonna swatch them before I swatch them because one thing about me y'all I love to be honest but I don't want to be like hurting you know what I'm saying like I don't want to get on a live and prematurely do something and then or on a video and then it not work out you know and then that's just like a whole thing so I didn't do that. I wound up just, I'm like, nah, I'm just going to video record. And y'all, these were the butteriest pigmented, like it, they were just so freaking high class. Like they were advanced, good acrylics. Like they were so good and so buttery. And that's exactly how the spring collection was. And I was just like, wow, wow, wow. Cause it's hard. It is hard. I've never gotten colors like that. That were that good. Not one color I have. Besides my nudes and stuff. Like all my nudes are good. 
but like a color color, like a yellow or a pink pink, they all suck. That those are the only pinks I have that don't suck and are buttery. So yeah, um, they're just amazing and I love it. Um, right here, I'm filing. Y'all know I'm using my MR5 Melody Susie drill. I do have a code with Melody Suze. I'm going to keep my code with Melody Susie because, you know, <laughs> I'm looking forward, Melody Sue. To that uh, lamp and drill you're going to send me next month. I'm so looking forward to that so I can show the girls. You know what I'm saying? We got to show the girls. Uh, <laughs> I might even give it away. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that, Melody Sue. <laughs> Y'all, let me stop. Let me freaking light this blunt up. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all. This is one of my favorite parts. Um, I try to I try to go through my filing faster now on video. And then if I have to go back in, like, off the video, I will. But I try to go faster because I notice, like, of, you know, I know people like to see this part um, because it's part of nails. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a part. Some people, this is, like, their favorite part, filing and things like that. So I want to keep it in, but I just, like, you know try to go a little bit faster because I did notice a lot of my videos like filing took up a lot of time because I really be filing you know what I'm saying if you're on my live you know I'd be in there filing for like 45 minutes so what I'll do is I'll do a real quick file so y'all could still see me filing and get that little satisfaction of the file but then off camera I'll stop it and then I'll just continue to file if I want to get it crisper or if I need more filing yeah, that's the trick, okay? Um, <laughs> because if you sit on camera, it's just going to take, listen, it's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, I'm also using my Panabit, y'all. These Panabits are amazing. Amazon, y'all. Amazon Panabits. The disc I got, that one disc, I don't even use that disc no more. Um, I use my drill now because I like those little halfies, not the big halfies that some people, you know, those moon shape. I like a little bit of, uh, you know, sometimes I could go over the top and, you know, go a little bit too far, but I like it like just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. And if I could file my own nail, I would do that with my hand file because you could actually do that and make it just a tiny crescent, um, or like moon shape, whatever they call it. <laughs> curve shit you know what I'm saying um you could actually do that with your hand file and make it like a, a nice little one not no deep weird shit um y'all and I just ordered myself more coffin tips from bomb nails I love Gabby's coffin tips y'all they are the best freaking coffin tips I don't care I don't care I don't care <clears throat> and if you want a nice skinny coffin you get her um 2xl stiletto the sharp stiletto one she got Cut a little bit of that tip off, baby, and you're ro rolling, cause we're rolling in the deep, rolling, rolling, yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> oh god, I'm big, Joe, I can't, I can't, I can't, I am Cornelio, I need some BB for my bungle, um, <laughs> yo, so anyway, oh, and I wanted to mention, um, y'all, my last video, I shouted out my, some of my donators, y'all. I did not have a list in front of me. If I miss anybody, I truly apologize. It's no, it's never intentional or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so I tried to shout everybody I remembered out. Obviously I had everybody written down and I shouted every single person that did donate out on my community page but when I'm on a video doing a voiceover I could be anywhere in my house and if I start rambling off names I'm human I'm gonna forget a name um the people I did mention are ladies that are very close to me that, that, that I talk to every day who are in my lives every single live and who donate most of my lives so that's why it was easy to remember them and not have to look down at a paper with people's names on it or, you know, go run to my back room to get up. You know what I'm saying? So that's that it's never like intentional. I feel like people sometimes take things to the heart on here and don't ever. There's one thing you have to do on the never take me seriously. OK, and if I forget a name or like 
the point of the thing is I do shout all donators and things like that out on my community I, I looked at my community tab. I did not forget anybody. That's because at that time I was looking at who I had. But when I do my voiceovers, I could be laying and, you know, I could be anywhere. So, um, yeah, that's that's the only thing that was some people's name. I remember more than others because they're always around me. Those girls I talk to outside of YouTube, too. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's different. Yeah. So anyway, Anyway, we're still filing here. We're still filing. And then all I'm going to do, these are very simple. I didn't do any bling. I was going to do bling, y'all. But I was so freaking tired. I had to go to bed. By the time I finished, it was like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. So I had to go to bed. I was like, no, I'm not going to sit here and do freaking bling. And if I wasn't chatting it up and talking to the bullies over in Crystal's live... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I would have finished earlier, but no, I was being bullied. <laughs> yo, y'all, yo, these girls are so funny and so dope. Go follow my girls, Latina Nail Designs and uh, Sugar D Nail Clips. Robin doesn't have a channel right now. You know, she's a busy girl, but um, Crystal and uh, Marcy do. Uh, and they, y'all, uh, they are funny, and my girl Toy, Toy was the only one who stuck up for me, Jonah was, everybody was against me, okay, <laughs> yo, anyway, y'all, uh, I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the rest of this video, I've blathered enough in my last two videos, it's time to shut the F up, and, and you know what I'm saying, go, go figure my life out, so have a great day, great night, wherever y'all at. I will see y'all on the flip side and I will see y'all Freestyle Friday. I love all you, all of my supporters. If you're new, welcome. Welcome. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and always leave a comment. I try to answer everybody back. Like I said, I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see y'all at Freestyle Friday, 8 o'clock. Where we get lit, new people are welcome. We love to support and, you know, talk to everybody. It is a little community that we have. Beginners, people who are just starting YouTube channels, anything like that. You are welcome to Freestyle Friday. Uh, we have a blast. Have a good night, y'all. I love y'all. Oh, crrr.